well known as co-founder, guitar player and one of the songwriters in the New Zealand Hall of Fame band, Hello Sailor. Harry Lyon also played with the Pink Flamingos. Yes, Hammond Gamble and the Legion that Legionnaires as well. Oh, this is all going back to our youth. Uh, he's just released his very first solo album, To The Sea, and he joins us now ahead of his New Zealand tour. It is really great to have you here. Oh, well, thanks, Mel. Just reading through those band names, it really yeah. was. It was just like a little montage of my, of my childhood. Well, I was younger too. <laughs> <laughs> Just only a little tiny bit. So congrats on the solo album. Love the name too, by the way, To The Sea. Oh, thanks. Um, so why, why a solo album? Why now? Well, as you know, being solo was sort of forced on me a little bit with, mm. you know, Dave and Graham both, both um, leaving us. So, and I had a stockpile of songs and had a bit of encouragement from a few people. So I thought, yeah. Why not? Yeah. And I've had a listen, I love it. And there's, you know, I want to talk more about the album in just a minute. But can I take you right back, right back to what got you into music in the first place? Elvis. Ah, nice. Yeah. Was I, it really Elvis? Well, it's one of the things, yeah, in the 50s. I, I'd saved up and bought myself a guitar when I was nine. Mm. Oh, I heard uh, One Night With You. It's just like lots of other ki kids around the world. You know, I'd never heard anybody sing like that, which was essentially like sort of soul singing, basically. Yeah. That's what Elvis was doing. And, um, yeah, just got the bug. Something just resonated. So tell us about your time with Hello Sailor. What well, was it like? Uh, what, how much time have we got? What, that's, that's <laughs> all, what was it like being on tour? Like, did you get up to all the hijinks that I can imagine you probably did? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you can share on morning TV? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's all about the music, man. Right, of course it was. Yeah. Sorry, of course it was. <laughs> Silly me. With with attitude, we like to say. I heard you before talking before we were on air that coming up with a band name is a really hard thing to do. How did Hello Sailor come about? Because I don't know that story either. Uh, yeah, Gra Graham came up with that, I think. Right. He and Dave were living in a house, the infamous Mandrax Mansion, down the bottom of St Mary's Bay, and uh, I was actually in a kind of touring circuit band, you know, that was backing other people and and used to call in there in between tours and things and, and we'd sort of jam and do things. And, and they'd bought some, we're gradually sort of building up to doing something and they bought these speaker cabinets. And one time I went round there and Dave had written Goodbye Dove on one and Graham had written Hello oh, Sailor on that. the other one. So, really? you know, it could have been Goodbye, Dove. No, yeah. that was never I think we I'm made sorry. the right yeah. choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. You definitely made the right choice. So your album, that your solo album, To The Sea, how would you describe it? It's quite eclectic, really. I like a wide range of music, mm. um, but I, I guess I like kind of Americana, soul, and uh, country music, and, and rock and roll and things. So it's there's a country song on it, and there's a kind of vaudeville kind of song with horns, but a lot of it is kind of Kiwi rock kind of stuff, I guess. Yeah. And, and let's go through some of the songs. One for the road. What's that about? Ah, oh, kind of song for absent friends, I guess. You know, oh, yeah. yeah. Nice, that makes sense. To the to the sea, it's another great track on that album. Yeah, that's a kind of um, a biopic, I, I guess. You know, I sort of name check my wife with her maiden name in the first verse, and it's a, it's a little bit, bit of a chronology. Oh, I like some of that. Christmas in Dublin. Cheapest, you are covering everything. Is there a Christmas song on your album as well? Oh yeah, got a Christmas song. <laughs> yeah, our, our do eldest daughter is married to a Dubliner, and um, she rang and said that she wasn't going to be coming home this Christmas. And so on Boxing Day, that song just sort of just about wrote itself, really. Yeah. And, and that's quite significant, that song too, because if I recall correctly, was that the last song you ever played to, to your late mate Dave? Yeah, the last time I saw him, I went round there and I, I told him about the song, and he said, "Oh, you've got to go, mate." You've yeah. got to go and have Christmas mm. in Dublin. The songs are prophetic. And he was going to go and have Christmas with his sister Robin in London, and we were going to meet up in London beforehand. And But then, so we booked our tickets and everything, but then, yeah, Dave died in April. That is so sad. Does it, I mean, it obviously has an impact on you having, you know, Graham Brazier and, and Dave McCartney die, die like that. Yeah. I mean, how do you... How do you keep the songwriting thing going when, mm. you've, when you've had such a like, sort of close connection with these guys and they're no longer here? Well, I mean... Songs are not reliant on everything being sunny and bright sometimes, you know. That's probably where you get your best work, isn't it? I mean. Sometimes, yeah. And I mean, in between time, Meg and I both lost our mothers in between years. You know, we sort of had a wow. rough four years mm. there. So, But, you know, it's, it's part of life and um, 
you know, as you get older, you have to deal with it, you unfortunately. Do. Yeah. And I guess you do have reflective moments, and that can sometimes bring beautiful songs, can't it? And I know you're a prolific songwriter. I guess they just pop into your head, and it's like, okay, I'll write that one down. That could be a hit. And now you've got them all on an album, which you are going to be touring. So tell us, how did you construct the band for this? Because you've got the band, you've got some guest appearances. It's going to be huge, isn't it? Yeah, I, I largely went back, because I, I spent 18 and a half years working at Mainz, the Music and Audio Institute of New Zealand. And uh, so I've kind of picked up some of the, the tutors from there, plus a guitar player that we'd brought into the into Sailor to kind of take Dave's role before, you know, when, when Graham was still alive. We did a few gigs with Jimmy Taylor. And um, yeah, so it's it's good to work with people, you know. And uh, are you going to do some Hello Sailor tracks on the yes, tour? Yes, yeah, yeah. We're going to sort of make sure people have a good time. Well, you are an absolute legend. People will come along and have a good time. Just finally. I wanted to know, is it harder making a solo album or harder making an album with a band? I, I don't know if it's harder, it's just a little different, I guess, that okay. the focus was more on me and my songs, which was new for me, but I, 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 was, I was pretty happy in Hello Sailor, you know. I, would, I could have sailed into the sunset with those boys quite happily. But mm. was, awesome. Uh, hey, we're looking forward to the tour and the album too. Yeah, good. Thank you, nice. and looking forward to hearing you at the end of the show too. So thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Harry Lyons' debut solo album to the sea is available now, and his tour continues this week, taking in Napier, Wellington, Christchurch and Auckland. You can check out Event Finder for ticket details.